Okay, I'm here with David again, and we're practicing kind of like collet fingers. It's sort of for collet. It's sort of for, it's really more just to be able to not grip the bow so tightly. So he's sitting on a chair, and he's got his leg like this, so he's making a little table with his knee. And he's got the end of the bow sitting, you know, the screw sitting right on his knee. So first we're going to make, you know, a nice, soft, rounded bow hand. So let's do this. So first... Let's get your thumb. I can't video this and help him, but your thumb a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Do it the wrong way, how you just had it. Yeah, you had it kind of more over on the side and you had it straighter. Now can you put it more? Yeah. No. Yeah, right on the, it should be right touching kind of on the corner of your thumb and just gently and then a little bend. This one, let's get it at the edge of the silver. Yours, you tend to need to have your, your a little closer to your first knuckle touching than your second. Sometimes you wrap it way around and you're kind of, I call that the bird claw thing. These guys wrapped around gently. Now the big one is the pinky. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Make, yes, nice and rounded like this. Okay, great, very nice bow hand. So now, it's sitting on your it's sitting on your leg. You don't really have to support it. Feel is tap your first finger a little bit. Oh, that's your pinky, yeah. Good. Tap your thumb a little bit. Tap your pinky. Tap your middle fingers. Okay, so do you feel like you're holding it as loose as possible? Well, now your pinky's not loose, I can tell because it's bending. I mean, you really should feel feel like you're hardly holding it. Okay. Now do what we did a second ago and lift the bow off. And you can make, still hold it very lightly and make your fingers just kind of a little straighter. Remember? Yes. It's kind of like the bow push-up thing. It's a little straighter, gent but very gently. Like you're very, barely holding it. It could fall out. Now go back onto your knee and rest it on your knee. Good. I can see it's nice and loose. Now go back up and go back down. Right, right. Go back up and back down. Rest it on your knee. Yeah, you shouldn't be, you should barely be holding it. Now go back up and down. This guy's a little tight, I can see. And curve those ones around a little bit more. Gentle. I can feel your thumb is squeezing. Remember, you don't really, you're, you're, it should be straight up and down and your leg should be supporting it. Tap your pinky. Good. Tap your thumb. Tap your first finger. Good. Now go up again. Oops, pinky. Go down. Up. Down. Okay, I want you to do this in a mirror or a camera and I want you to do it where you go up and down 15 times every day correctly. Okay. Actually, what you should do is videotape it and then okay. like put the iPad or whatever on the stand. And if you don't do the right fingers, then you have to do it over again. Okay? Okay. 